Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Titans Returns Pounce. This guy is one of the members of the Siege on Cybertron box set, uh, but I wanted to do these guys individually just because I've already sold my Tidal Wave because I wasn't really interested in that, so that was able to go to somebody uh, that would actually like that figure. And I kept the rest of these guys, so I'm going to do these individually just because uh, the transformation probably for Jinrai is going to be a little bit longer, and I didn't want some like really long video. So uh, giving you guys a 360 of him uh, looks pretty good. In the package, he actually came with his arms this way. I guess it fits a little bit closer to the chest. You can see there's a little bit more of a gap here. And with this way, it fits a, you know, a little bit closer in. Uh, but then you have that hollowness and then the little hole right there for his fist so i'm willing to you know sacrifice so i'm just going to do the transformation with the arms like this i know that kind of sticks down a little bit further um and it's not the way that it tells you to do it in the directions but that's my preference so you know you can kind of do whatever you want with your own figure uh, but as far as the colors i'm a huge fan of the clones i love the g1s uh, i love this fuchsia color uh kind of this you know, teal, I like purple, teal, you know, black, you know, you start putting all those things together, you know, it looks really good. This is kind of more of a, uh, kind of a navy-ish purple. Uh, it's just real dark. It's not black, though. Uh, I don't know if it's how it's showing up on camera uh, whenever I, you know, you watch it. Uh, but you can see that the eyes are, uh, got a little bit of paint in there. Uh, kind of a, a light red, uh, not too bad. The mouth doesn't open and close or anything like that. I can see he's got his little little bitty feet here. I can see the uh, robot feet here hanging off the back. But again, you know, this is uh, a clone. So there's going to be sacrifices need to be made, especially whenever you're dealing with a transformer, you know, this size. So, uh, But his art articulation, he can move the, you know, arms this way if you want. I guess you can say this way uh, for the front but uh the legs you know this can go back and forth you could you know rotate here basically all the movement that you would have in a robot uh leg you pretty much have it with this and this foot can you know go forward to the part of transformation he can bend the tail up here and also kind of right here as well so uh let's go ahead and get into the transformation uh first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and pull this head portion back you can see the robot head is revealed turn that around 180 go ahead and come up with the arms or back with the arms i guess you could say come back this way and fold those in back and in we'll go ahead and rotate those arms so that they're looking forward and just kind of get this out of the way pull the legs down Fold this up, and do the same thing with this one, and then turn the legs 180, and they'll just turn on that mushroom peg at the thigh. And then with the tail, it says leave this down and come like that, okay? And then there it is, you know, all transformed. But uh, you, you still kind of have this little pink thing hanging from the, or, you know, from the back of it so if i'm going to you know display it on shelf and obviously looking forward um you know I, I don't see why you don't just move this up and do that now he's got more of a little bit of a backpack it looks weird if you're looking from the the back end but if you're just going to display them on a shelf looking forward i think that looks a little bit more clean uh again that's one of the things it doesn't tell you in the, the directions but just kind of a, a little hex tip there so because I don't, I don't play with these guys. The, the most I ever play with them is whenever I'm doing the review, and then they go on their shelf and they stay there until until I'm done. So, all right. So as far as articulation goes, uh, you know, rotate the head here. Uh, then you have the uh, shoulders. Uh, the ball ball joint right here in the shoulders is actually really tight, really good. I mean, that thing's not moving at all. So. Uh, you know, goes back and forth here, in and out. So really tight ball joint there. You have the mushroom peg that you get the rotation here. Uh, you know, the elbow joint, it's not as tight as the shorter, but again, it's, you know, it's not loose. Like, it's not going anywhere. So, uh, you know, tighter than, you know, some of the ones that we've had in the past. Uh, nothing in the, the waist there, but the legs, you know, back and forth. Again, the ball joint here and the thigh, uh, really tight. Uh, so I don't know if that's just my particular figure, but... You know, really, really, really good. I like it. A uh, mushroom peg uh, here for the thigh cut. You have the knee bend a little bit more than 90 degrees. Nothing here in the feet. Nothing at the wrist. So, but uh, I think uh, one guy looks uh, pretty good, you know, so.
Oh, uh, one of the other things I wanted to point out, you know, obviously look at the uh, nice detail of him. Uh, you can see the eyes, you know, painted red. You have the Decepticon symbol there. It looks like it's kind of a sticker, but it's actually uh, like tampographed on there with the silver around it. Uh, this here, uh, it is. You can kind of see the the Puma cat. If I can get that in the light there. Uh, and there, you know, with the around in a black circle with the uh, silver square over it. Uh, this is just also kind of. Not necessarily tampograph because you can see that there's a kind of a rise on the where the puma is, but it, it's not a rub symbol. That's basically what I wanted to say. Um, you know, it took me a while to say it, but uh, it's not a rub symbol. It's just to kind of give the imp you know impression that it is because that's the way that you would identify these uh, on the clones. Where everybody else had you know you rub the rub symbol. It was an Autobot or a Decepticon with the clones. It was are you a dragster, a jet, you know. Um, an eagle or you know a puma i think is what they all were so i just wanted to kind of point that out all right so go with the transformation back uh we'll go ahead and just rotate the head we'll go ahead and rotate these legs and we can go ahead and pull these down we'll fold here fold here come back with this and the tail then we can come down with this section here so these just kind of claps going forward and i'm gonna again you know i'm gonna rotate these arms to where i don't have those gaps sitting on the side uh, and then come down with the legs extend those do the same thing with this one come down with that and extend that move the head forward and there you have them all transformed just kind of you know fiddle with the legs you can get them however you want and uh, yeah, there there he is in his uh, Puma mode. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.